Alright, alright, good evening guys, happy Tuesday, um, it's after the Super Bowl, finally, so, you know, the mock drafts and the crazy videos are about to come out, and I've been working on it, um, actually, I found a, one of my followers on Twitter, Sunny D, he's kind of like as obsessed with football as I am, so we literally talk about football all day long. So he helped me put this mock draft together, and it's actually um, three mock drafts. I have three different scenarios. Yes, I go all out. No, I'm not an expert, but as a fan, I pay attention to the Eagles a lot. So um, this is basically what I came up with. Uh, so for the first one, and we've talked extensively about all of this. Like, don't think that I take any of my mock drafts lightly. This is my first one, first time doing an official, official mock draft. So um, bear with me. It's obviously going to change a little depending on what happens at free agency, who we trade or cut, blah, blah, blah. So um, so the first scenario, uh, and I wrote this all down on paper because I couldn't remember it. Um, I'm not that good. So the first scenario um, is if we sign a big name free agent wide receiver uh, such as Alshon Jeffrey. Um, that's the one I want. Uh, D. Jax, if he comes back, um, or Kenny Stills. I like him. Those those are my three. Uh, if we get those, then I'll be happy. If we don't, mm, I might be a little concerned. But there's plenty of wide receivers in the draft, so. If we grab one of those three, um, round one, we take Dalvin Cook, uh, and then um, we take Tease Tabor in the second round. Um, somehow he falls to us, or we trade up and take him. Either way, we want to take him. Um, Zay Jones, he's our third round pick. Um, extremely, extremely athletic. He catches everything, productive, got it all. Um, round four. Tano Passanon uh, from Villanova, freak, uh, defensive end, 6'7", sorry, that's my niece, 6'7", um, what was he, like 270 or something like that, but the Eagles talked to him at the Super Bowl, they said he raised his draft stock, so um, I'd say he doesn't make it past the Eagles, they take him, a Pennsylvania product, that's the kind of guy we need. Um, round five we finally take a lineman um, and people think that we have two fourth round picks but really we don't um, if we get compensated for the um, the Browns it's just a, a pick at the end of the fourth round so really it's kind of like a fifth round pick so I just included it in the fifth round um, we take every Genesee the tackle now these guys are just like people I looked up compared that to where they were on the big board and kind of saw if they were I don't know similar to what other people uh, drafted so um, Zach Banner he's a guard uh, round six Jeremy Clark cornerback um, he got hurt for Michigan 6'4 206 he tore his ACL so I don't even know if he's gonna be able to um, do anything for the combine but um, I think the Eagles would take a shot on a guy like that who was really rising up before he got hurt. Um, 6 4 2 6 like, that's just something you take a chance on in the sixth round. And then, uh, round seven, Ben Bowyer, linebacker from Clemson. Um, I mean, we need linebackers. We're going to be getting rid of Kendricks. Steven Tulloch is going to be out. Um, they will be down to Hicks. Bradham and Joe Walker, the rookie from last year. So that's it if we sign a big free agent wide receiver. Second scenario is if we sign a free agent cornerback. And um, I still have us taking Dalvin Cook in the first round because uh, we need that that change of change the game type of back. Um, I do believe you can get them at another point in the draft. However. There are other positions of need that we will have to target the rest of the draft. So why not take a Dalvin Cook? I mean, Zeke did what for the Cowboys, and they took him fourth overall. So take Dalvin. Um, second round, Tredavious White from LSU. We need a cornerback, physical. Um, and he 
and Jalen Mills would know each other, so they could bounce off ideas very well. So um, I like him anyway. Uh, round three, I still have Zay Jones, um, but I also kind of did like a slash Isaiah Ford. Whichever one is available, we'll take. They were both productive, both good on the outside, both athletic, tall. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to say about them. So, um, and then the rest of the draft is the same as uh, the first one. So, Ten Opasanon, Avery Genesee, Zach Banner, Jeremy Clark, and Ben Bowler. I didn't really want to change them because um, really everything, I don't really want to get too deep into it. And it's only February. Like, I'm not going to keep changing rounds four through seven in February. Uh, unless something drastic happens. So, um, and the last, the last mock draft scenario is, and he, I wasn't even going to do this, but Sonny D, he was like, you know, me and my friends were talking, what if the Eagles trade back? Now, I have been thinking about this because I want extra picks. I like extra picks. I think we need extra picks. And how he's definitely going to be thinking the same thing, so... I said we trade back, and I was like, who are we going to trade to? He said the Packers, and I was like, yeah, we could. Packers are one. The Raiders are another. They need corners, um, pass rushers. So uh, it doesn't matter who we trade back with, honestly. We're going to trade back, and we're still going to draft a cornerback. It's going to be Sidney Jones, though. Um, so we are going to get our star corner, and for round two, We'll take their pick, but we're still going to draft Tease Tabor. And um, I also have John Ross. Um, hopefully we can, like, trade up or something. But um, hopefully we can. We if we grab those two guys in the second round, we will win the draft already. Um, round three, Joe Mixon. Yes, I'm still a little mixed on him. Mix, ha. Huh? But... I mean, he punched the shit out of that girl. Unacceptable. Like, you never put your hands in a woman. Especially do that. I don't care if she pushing you. He could have pushed her out the way, nudge her, mush her, something. But he molly whopped that girl. That's horrible. I will always think about that. So if we do draft him... I really hope he's changed, and um, Sonny D said he could be like a David Johnson because he was drafting the third round, and look what he's doing. So that would be great, um, but if he's there in the third round, I say you take a chance. I mean, odds are he's going to mature. He hasn't really had any accidents, incidents like that um, since, but still, that's a red flag. You need to talk to him about that. Um in this draft, I did change things up a little bit. Um, I, so round four, we draft a linebacker. Um, and we draft Jalen Reeves Mabin from Tennessee, I believe. Because um, we need linebackers. We need impact linebackers. And he might have to be uh, take Kendrick's spot or at least be the backup. Um, actually, he might take Kendrick's spot because Joe Walker would be the backup middle linebacker. So, um, yeah, we need linebackers. Um, and then the rest of the draft is still the same. Avery Genesee, Zach Banner, Jeremy Clark, Ben Bowler. Um, yeah, so two linebackers, two cornerbacks, um, two offensive linemen, and a running back. And that concludes my first mock draft. Um, I hope you guys have some good feedback. I don't want to hear shit about the Super Bowl. It's over. If your team lost, I'm sorry. I've been there. We still don't have a ring. If your team won, and for the rest of Bird Gang, we out. Deuces.